I often say that at the Children's Hospital, we manage life. We don't manage the end of life, we manage the beginning of life. Adverse drug reactions, or side effects, are the fifth leading cause of death in North America. And what makes one patient experience a tragic side effect, and yet the, another patient who receives the same drug at the same dose has no adverse effect? Now we need to sort of incorporate human genetic variation so that we can understand the diversity of how cancer affects children and then come up with better treatment options. Children, uh, for the most part, are an unstudied population of patients when it comes to drug therapy. They only are 25% of the population, and yet they are 100% of our future. Rory was born with a teratoma, and that's a type of a germ cell tumor. It's a solid tumor. She had surgeries and procedures and some complications. You're kind of thinking, how is she going to be able, the little body, to handle all these things and all the possible scary side effects, not only if she survives these treatments, but if the long-term side effects when she goes home and if she gets to grow up, what that's going to look like. I wanted to give her the best outcomes if we could. If we could know more information, we could plan ahead and hope to support her better. I would have never thought to even ask these questions before the genetic study. Genomically speaking, the risk of hearing loss is between 0 and 88%. And in Rory's case, it was that high-risk grouping that uh, uh, caused us to stop and consider alternatives. And in her particular case, use an alternative drug which allowed her to preserve her hearing and yet still receive effective anti-cancer therapy. And for parents, information is powerful. That's what they need. That's what we do as oncologists every day is to give families information. This study, it's changing how we approach medicine and it really is taking in family values a lot more. And by giving them all this information, they really are a partner at the table with us as oncologists. This project is actually being now launched across Canada. And if it's good enough for Canada's children, is it not good enough for the world's children? And that's the global reach of what this project is all about. Now she's full of energy and able to get out and live life to the fullest. She's retained all her hearing, and she is the most curious, feisty girl now to this day. You can't hold her down. Every day that she can be out exploring and just loving life is a big gift. Mm -hmm.